Okay, so lessons learned. One, um, I can take the cover off by just sliding it off after undoing the screws. I cannot remove the propane um, connector. It's just too tight and not worth breaking. I was able to clean um, some stuff and connect, disconnect some things, not all of the ones at this point. Um, and I went on the other side also and opened up and cleaned and that's the connect, reconnected the heat um, sensor thing. But but I'm now observing it's still not wor it's working the same manner as before, except for I have gotten it to produce heat. I'm not doing it currently; it's just blowing air for some reason. Um, kind of talking out loud a little bit here but suspecting igniter since maybe well the igniter is going off but maybe not correctly or I don't know if the igniter is just the one time and then the, the brush just kind of sustains itself kind of like a, a pilot light that just kind of gets the whole burner going I haven't seen um, a burner portion and I've seen the area where the air goes through so um, like a almost looks like a radiator in the way but I have not actually looked at the burner portion I also suspect the control board of course because maybe it's getting mixed signals suspect that heat switch because it may be getting mixed signals um, because it, it blew heat with the cover off pretty well but now that it's on it's coming on and off you know, I am hearing the, some clickings in relation to the igniter so that you know takes it back away from the igniter um i still have it on inside so it might yet oh no i turned it off that's why it's off now but um yeah so not resolved but learned and we'll just continue to see about igniter or control board or the heat um detector switch in the back that uh, can set it off to stop heating. Right. Uh, bye.